hi guys welcome back to my channel where i'm so excited to be back after four months and i'm also so motivated to stay consistent this time i try to upload one or two videos every week it really depends on my schedule and guys i also plan on um creating a highlight for some summer crochet tops where i share some of my designs with you guys so i'm excited and <laughs> sorry so today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this cannabis thing bikini please know this is going to be the first part of this video where i just show you how i made the bikini but the second part of the video will be released soon where i show you how i made the high neck top so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the second part of that video and uh, make sure to hit the like button if you find this video helpful and also comment what you think about this video or just comment if you have any questions for me at all i reply real quick so let's get into this tutorial so guys i'll be using this green yarn i got from red hat for the cannabis leaf and a 3.5 millimeter hook as you can see and we're going to start off by making a magic ring i've added a link in my description box for a more specific tutorial on how to create this ring so you can click on that link if you want after that you're going to make a slip knot After making a slip knot, you are going to make eight single crochet inside the magic ring. So we go one, one single crochet, two single crochet, three, four, five, six seven and eight and in order to close this magic ring you are going to um so we can close this ring by passing your hook through the first single crochet you made while making a slip stitch just like that So here we can just pull that part to close the magic ring. So start off with our branches, you are going to chain up six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to make a slip stitch into the fifth chain we made. So a slip stitch just like that and um, we're going to make a single crochet into the fourth chain we made pull through two of them and now we're going to make a half double crochet into the third chain so we're going to roll over and pull through three and for the rest of the chains we're just going to make a single crochet And now we have our first branch and we are going to slip stitch into the first single crochet in the magic ring to make that balance in just like that the next we're going to chain up eight After chaining up eight, we are going to slip stitch into the seventh chain we made. Then we're going to single crochet into the sixth, half double crochet into the fifth, roll over and start your hook in, pull through all three. So half double crochet into the fifth, fourth, and third. So we are doing three half double crochet. After that, we're going to single crochet into the second and the first chain we made there. And 
after doing this, we are going to slip stitch into the next single crochet in the magic ring. Slip stitch. So that's how I was looking. It's coming up, guys. Next up, you're going to chain up 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And we're going to slip stitch into the night. As usual, we are always going to make one slip stitch first. And we're going to make a single crochet into the 8. Pull through two of them. I'm going to make a half double crochet into the next chain, which is the seventh. Pull through three. And the next one, we're going to make a double crochet. So instead of pulling through all three, we're going to pull through two first and two. And we're going to do this for, we're going to do this three times. So basically, we are um, doing a double crochet into the sixth, fifth, and the fourth. After that, we're going to make a half double crochet again and the third. Pull through all three. And we're going to make a single crochet into the second and first chain we made to end this um, branch. So make two single crochet and that's it. After making two single crochet for this, we are going to slip stitch into the next single crochet in the magic ring. The next we are going to chain up 12. Slip stitch into the 11th as usual single crochet into the 10th and we're going to make a half double crochet into the 9th roll over pull through all three and for the 8th and the 7th we are going to make a double crochet meaning we are going to make two double crochet here So after making two double crochet, you're about to do something new, which is called the triple crochet. So we are going to roll over twice, having three, and we're going to um, insert our hook in, pull through, we're going to pull through two first, we have three left, pull through another two, we have two left, and pull through another two, and we're going to do this twice. After doing this, you're going to make a double crochet into the fourth and third. Next, we're going to make a half double crochet into the second one. So pull through all three here. And the last one, we're just going to make a single crochet. And after this, we're just going to slip stitch into the magic ring you're basically going to repeat the same steps for the 10 8 and 6 branches and i'll meet you when i'm done so i'm back and this is how it looks like now now we want to make the last branch where we chain up five and slip stitch into all chains so one two three four and five and we're going to slip stitch into all chains there. No single crochet, no half double crochet, just slip stitch all through. When we're done, we're just going to make 
the slip stitch into the magic ring and now we're done with this cannabis leaf it's super easy so now i'm just going to chain two and cut my strap So I'm going, I'm currently crocheting two bikinis, so I made about eight patches. <laughs> now I'm going to just um, try to sew it in and just try to make it look neat. This is me making an attempt to make it look neat on both sides. Yeah, I made about eight patches because I'm working on two bikinis for a customer. Now I'm just going to so here's my first bikini, and now I'm going to make the second one. Now it's time for us to make the brackups. I'm sure most people know how to do this already, but you know, for the beginners, I'm just going to make this video and continue. <laughs> so here I'll be using a 4.5 millimeter hook and we start off by making a slip knot. After making a slip knot, we are going to chain up 13. After that, after making your 13 chains, we're going to start off by making the half double crochet into the 12th chain we made. So we're going to half double crochet into this 12th chain we made onto the first chain we made. So we're going to half double crochet all through until we get to the end. So after making 13 chains, in the very first chain we made, the very first chain, um, first chain we made there, we're just going to make two more half double crochet in that space. So we're going to make two more half double crochet in that space right there. chain one up make two more half double crochet in that same space making it a total of five half double crochet in one chain then we are going to be working on the other side of the stitch so we're going to make another 12 half double crochet in each space We're going to make 12 half double crochet in the other side until we get to the end.
I'm just going to make my last half double crochet now. Remember, you're just, you know, taking up one, one chain there. So after we are done with this set, the first row, we're going to chain one. So chain one, turn your walk around, then now we're going to be working on the second row of this cup. So we're going to have double crochet into each half double crochet space until we get to the parts where we made the chain one at the top. So um, we are getting to the chain one space now. So we're going to make one half double crochet first, and in here in this chain one space, right there, we are going to make two half double crochet. We're going to chain one. To so chain one and make two more half double crochet. After this, we're going to half double crochet in all half double crochet space till we get to the end of this row. So basically, we're going to repeat this method six times and we're going to have our back rows ready. So half double crochet in all spaces, giving it a total of 14 half double crochet in that, in that um, side. So guys, I just meet you at the end of this cup. If you have any questions, make sure to comment. So we're going to do this till we have a total of six rows. Now it's time for us to make our panties. I already made the blue one. Now it's time to make the pink. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot while still using the 4.5 millimeter hook. We're going to chain eight. So we chain up eight. We're going to have double crochet into the seventh chain we made. Roll over and start your hook into the seventh chain. And we're going to pull through all three. So we're going to do this so we have a total of seven half double crochet in that row.
after making seven half double crochet you are going to chain one turn and walk around and we're going to repeat this 11 times and at the end we're going to have a total of 12 half double crochet rows with no increase or decrease so remember we're going to have 12 half double crochet rows with no increase or decrease So I'll meet you when I'm done with making the 12 half double crochet rows. Now we're going to start increasing on both sides. So instead of making one half double crochet on the edge, we're going to make two half double crochet on each side. So chain one, chain one, turn your walk around make two half double crochet in that space same space we're going to make two half double crochet and we're going to basically we are trying to create that increase just like that and we're making one half double crochet on each until we get to the other side you know like the other edge So when we get to the other edge, we're going to make two half double crochet again in that same space. But for the next row, we are going to be neither increasing nor decreasing. So basically the next row we are going to be neither increasing or decreasing. And we're going to repeat this pattern till we get to the end. So we're going to basically have one increase, one regular, one increase, one regular until you have a total of 14 rows for the front part of those panties. So you can see that for this row, I'm not increasing or I'm not even decreasing either. Let's just make one. But for the next row, we are going to be increasing. So remember the pattern I said, one increase, one regular, one increase, one regular, until you have a total of 14 rows in the front part of this panties. So you're going to do that and I'll meet you at the end. Now it's time for us to work on the back of these panties. What I do mostly, I just um insert my hook and just, you know, attach my yarn there. So I'll just tie it right there. make sure it's really tight now we're going to chain one turn our work around and um, for the first row of this um, back panties we're just going to make a regular one no increases no decreases just you know just have the crochet ultra So basically I tried to walk in um walk those um straps in, you know the strap I tied. I don't know how to explain how I do that, but I just put it in and try to walk everything inside. That way I don't have to, you know, try to cut it and it makes my work look really neat.
so after this we are going to make we're going to have two rows of increase one regular two rows of increase wrong regular until we get to the end you know how the front pants is we basically had one row of increase one regular but this time around we're basically having two rows of increase one regular two rows of increase one regular till we get to the end and at the end we're going to have a total of 14 rows So now we are increasing. So we are done with this. Um, just um, you can make a strap that can fit around your waist. Just make it as much as you want. So you can use your measuring tape to do that too. Now it's time for us to attach our leaf. I recommend you sew it in, but you can also use a glue. I will attach a link to the description box um, where I got my glue. Also, after applying the glue, I also recommend you hand wash it so you can get the glue smell out of the bikini. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. Please don't forget to like and comment and also subscribe if you have not. So you don't miss out on the second part of this video where I show you how to crochet the high neck top. Thank you and also have a nice day. Bye.